Troy Little, um, one of the sharpest greyhound minds in Australia and perhaps the world. It's uh, welcome to Little Birdie, mate. Greyhound racing is not, I guess, in the in the press as much as it uh, as it should be. Uh, this week we've got the Australian Cup, but where did it all start for you, and uh, how long have you been doing it full time? Oh, I've been doing it for a number of years now, and um, sort of started when I um, I met a fellow a long time ago, back when I was trying to become a golf professional, actually, and worked out that I wasn't good enough to do that. So I started working at a pub tab and stuff, and um, was making a little bit of money on the dogs and tipping it back elsewhere and it clicked one day maybe I should just stick to this and um, got a bit more serious from then and just started chipping away with a very small bank and just uh, grew that and grew that and um, my parents said to me if I knocked off the um, 5000 that I had I was off to um, I was off to uni and um, I never got to uni. What a blessing. In terms of uh, the comparison I guess what's the advantage over uh, greyhounds, or you, that you find versus uh, versus gallops, or you know the, the more glamorous type sports. From a yeah, I, look, I, I try and get a few of my actually mates who are betting on the horses and they're struggling to actually try the dogs because I believe it's a, just a, it's a lot more simpler for the brain to work out the patterns. I believe like you don't have to guess if a jockey's going forward or going to be neutral or going to be told, you know. This is going to be, you know, need to, has, it's not quite wound up fitness-wise. Whereas, whereas dogs, they're put in the box and they go flat out, and you can sort of see if they haven't had a run for a while that they might be, you know, not up to their fitness mark and stuff. But in terms of what they do, they, they're creatures of habit. So from day one, Nick, if, if you come off from box five and you step off to the right and head to the outside fence, you're going to basically do that for the rest of your life. So that's a pattern that's locked into the form guide from day one. So that'll help you going forward. So going forward, you'll be looking, you'll be looking, you'll be zoning into dogs drawn underneath you. Basically, every time you see um, that dog in a race. So yeah, it all comes down to the draw. Yeah, fascinating. So yeah, watching your tapes mm. is, is probably the big angle there.